G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Mates with Snakes. Today we're going to talk about these little fellas, the central bearded dragon, Pagona viticeps, specifically egg laying and incubation. The Central Bearded Dragon, an Aussie icon that has taken the world by storm. And so it should with its animated characteristics, amazing colour and beautiful morphs, this animal is also able to thrive in captivity. Speaking of animated characteristics, here is the male displaying a very enthusiastic head bob, which is part of the mating ritual. This exciting behaviour will continue throughout the breeding season as the male convinces the female that he is the right man. It does get a little bit rough as the male will bite the female before mating proceeds, but this is all part of nature. Once mating is successful, it is a four to six week gestation period and after that, the female will start looking for a place to lay her eggs. The female will require an egg laying box. This is usually a container filled with sand or another damp material as long as the female can dig a hole and bury her eggs. She will dig to a depth that she is happy with and then reposition herself accurately ready to lay the eggs. Central bearded dragons will lay a clutch size averaging between 15 and 25 eggs. Once she has laid her clutch, she usually uses her head to nuzzle the sand back into place and compact it down, and then kick sand back over the top so it looks like nothing has ever happened. Once satisfied with her nest site, she will move off and continue with her daily routines. Now it's time for me to dig up the eggs. This is the part where I get really nervous. I don't want to damage any eggs. Starting to reveal the goods. There we go. All the way to the bottom. I have to be very careful digging up these little pearly whites. The last thing I want to do is damage them. A good instrument to use is a teaspoon to softly and carefully dig away the sand. As you can see, fingertips also do a half decent job. This simple Tupperware container, half filled with dampened vermiculite, is going to be the incubation box. The eggs will be placed and stay inside this box until they hatch, which can take from 50 to 80 days. 13. 13 eggs, that's not bad. That's pretty good. There's one little slug there, but that's alright, that's a good clutch. A slug egg is a term used for an egg that isn't fertile, and in this clutch there happened to be one, which will be discarded as there will be no little babies coming out of that egg. Now that the eggs are all set in their incubation box, they need to be placed in the incubator to be kept at a steady temperature of around 30 degrees. To double check these temperatures, I like to place an external temperature probe into the box just to make sure. Incubators come in a large range and variety. It doesn't matter what incubator you're using as long as it's reliable. Make sure that it can hold the temperature and a good humidity for these eggs to survive. Thanks for watching another episode of Mates with Snakes. I hope that information was very helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. See you next time.